Du -du 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 -du. Yeah! Hello! This week I'm going to prep an experiment for next week. Basically, I've been getting a lot of spam email. A lot of this spam email intrigues me. I kind of want to reply to it because some of it is almost zen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an email account which is as easy to find on the internet as possible and I'm going to make sure that that gets spam email and then next week we're going to reply and have some fun. The email address I'm going to go with is going to be foxnewsisalwaysright at gmail.com because if anything's going to make me look gullible, that is it. So, beautifully, here is my brand new email account, Fox News is always right. So, let's get spreading this bitch online and get some people to notice it. I've also managed to put it so far on my animation YouTube, there it is. I've also got it on my game review channel, which has over one million views so far. There it is. Now where else can I put an email address to get it seen by people who will spam the fuck out of my account. Hmm. Hello Orange Rory over there. I know, let's sign up for a very dodgy website which is blatantly just gonna sell our details on. Yep, it makes your dick bigger and your pussy wet. It's Pornhub. This is the first search result for free porn, so this site will almost certainly sell our details on to undesirable people. Let's do it. Um, and I'm not going to look at the porn, I swear. Wait, what? It could not open a socket. You're a porn site, you should be good at that. Just signed up for yet another lewd site. However, this website was too dirty to film, so enjoy this Buxton. Ah, uh, well, that is the fourth naughty website I've signed up for. I've shared it on all the social media, I've shared it on all of my YouTube accounts. I've shared it on Twitter, it's been retweeted on Twitter. There's not much else I can do to spread this email around. And to top off the shit biscuit, let's have this week in things what happen to be laying around in my room. A, a Pikachu with crap on his face. And a monkey going ah. I'll see you next week when stuff's actually happening. Okay, it's a week later now. Let's see what emails we've got. There's one here from uh, Dr. Miss Veronica Amadi, Japan. She says this. A titan, I know that you might be surprised on this mail, but I am telling you the truth. I know that it is against my official duty to release confidential issues like this to an outsider. There is nothing I can do to help you besides this. I am taking this bold step because of my belief as a Christian. What I want to tell you is about your fund with the federal government of Nigeria. There are a lot of forces working against you right from the last CBM, Professor Charles A. Saludo, and the current governor, Malam Sanusi, Lamado Sanusi, with other top officials of all the commercial banks here in Nigeria. They have been frustrating people by demanding upfront payment from them constantly. If I tell you that they are using all these money you sent them to work against you, you might not believe it. But it is reality. There is a way I can assist you get your funds out without you paying any charges to get your fund. It is risky, but one has to take it. I have assisted one woman from Mexico with it. It worked out, though her fund was US $2.5 million. What you have to do is to open another bank account anywhere. If you can open it in another place, it will be nice. But what you have to bear in mind is that you have to retransfer the fund to another account immediately you confirmed it in your account. I know why I want it this way. Get back to me as soon as you get this mail so that I will be in a better position to know what to do. Send your reply only to this email. Dr. Mrs. Veronica Amadi, Japan, KTT Unit C C CBN. Obviously, I was quite concerned by this email. It sounded rather serious, so I thought I would send one back to Veronica. Hey, Veronica. I expected this of Charles A, but I can't believe my lamb has got tied up in all of this too. You seem like such a straight-edged guy. This is a truly shocking turn of events, and you have my full attention. 
I was assured that the Federal Government of Nigeria was one of the most trustworthy Federal Governments of Northwestern Africa to put my funds in. But, before I take further steps, there is one thing I must know. How are they using my money against me? P.S. Does this Mexican lady have a phone number? She sounds lovely and I'm looking for love. Love. Gull. And she sent a lovely reply back, which is right, oh wait, no, she didn't. So now I have serious concerns that the government of Nigeria are working against me. However, there was soon a silver lining as I got another email from Wong Hui. Mr Wong Hui had to say this. An Arab businessman has made a fixed deposit of $24,500.000.00 in my bank branch where I am the director and he died with his entire family in the war, leaving behind no next of kin. I propose to present you as the next of kin to claim the funds. Get back to me only if interested with your full name and telephone number to reach you, and most importantly, a confirmation of acceptance from you, after which I shall furnish you with the full details of this transaction. Yours truly, Wong Hui. Well, of course, $24,000.000.00 is a lot of money. So I got back to Mr Wong as soon as possible with this email. That's terrible news. Which war did he die in? I knew recruiting full families was a bad addition to the mounted division. I'm not sure I'm qualified for this though, I'd rather give it to charity. However, if you're offering furnishings, I would be silly to refuse. My full name is Gullivan Ibel, and my phone number is something I made up. Love, Gull. Mr Wong sent me another really nice reply. Oh wait, he didn't because his email doesn't exist apparently. And that is my rather disappointing foray into scam emails. So what have we learnt? Well, apparently you can open and reply to scam emails because there's no one on the other bloody end. Now that's it for this week and I have a rather sad message for you. So to offset the tragedy, I will hold a rubber chicken. Next week will be my last vlog. Yes. I am moving to London and I'm getting a big job which is pretty much full time, which means I don't have any time to do this lovely thing with you lovely people no more. Next week I shall do a vlog chronicling my move to London and also having a nice goodbye. However, in the meantime, how about you post some video responses to this video and we can have a little audition for my replacement. We only want you if you're funny, smart, like talking to a camera and are sexually attractive. So post a thingy down there and we look forward to hearing from you. Hopefully this gets a few more replies than all my spam emails did. Thank you, I'll see you next week.